Hey, I've had um, quite a few people asking me what do I think about Gareth Morgan's proposal to council to have a Phil Price sculpture um, on the corner over there outside his property effectively and um, we've got Mount Jury here right in front of me. So I thought, well, let's go and ask him and um, hear what it's about. Um, I know it's about 10 metres high, it's kinetic, which means it moves and it would be going off to Dubai um, if it wasn't here. Um, Phil Price has done a series of artworks around, uh, it's gone all over the world. He's one of New Zealand's most renowned sculptors. So it's quite, uh, quite a thing actually in the world of is this something or is this nothing? This is, this is something, this is really something. So um, there's quite a big move in Taranga with the arts community here. We have the incubator doing awesome work and we actually have a street festival, a street arts festival starting at the Mount in two weeks time where we're having I think about 18 buildings painted with murals from top street artists from around the country. So this is um, potentially just adding more flavour to our local community. So I'm just going to go across and chat to Gareth about this proposal. Yeah well how it came about was I've been um, sort of working up a bit of an art plan for my own section here because we've done a lot of work on the house yeah. and now I'm looking at putting two or three pieces mainly around the back, the back garden here for my own use, my own enjoyment. But in that process I was talking to Phil Price who is you know, one of New Zealand's most renowned sculptors sculptors and has got a series of these kinetic sculpt sculptures you know things that move in the wind yeah all over the world like they're in Denmark they're in Melbourne they're, they're just everywhere um, and they're pretty impressive we've got two in Wellington um, and he said oh here's my latest piece what do you think he said the um, the Arabs and that in Dubai are pretty keen on me to do something up there so I've been working up you know, some concepts and so he showed me this piece that just I fell in love with now we've already got um, a couple of pieces on properties in the family from Phil and they've been a huge success that's elsewhere in New Zealand but they're on private property and so sort of we enjoy them but no one else which yeah. um, anyway this particular sculpture Rima Rima is um, it's sort of of a scale that I can't quite fit in the section here at the Mount. <laughs> so I said to him, well, it'd be great, but unfortunately, and the obvious place is at the Mount, but it doesn't quite fit in the section. Yeah. Um, and it would, you know, but I can see the point of it because it's, you know, remember that pop weed you'd find on the beach? Yes. It's made, it like, looks like that. Um, and it's sort of in, in the Pahuta Cabo Red, so it's up against the Pahuts of um, Mount Drury, which just looks stunning. Um, so in the summer when the bahuts are out, you wouldn't see the sculpture, it disappears into the bahuts. But of course, for the other 90% of the year, there it is reminding you of, mm. um, you know, the movement and all the rest of the bahuta cowers. So it's awesome. So um, one place it could go is just outside the fence um, on the corner, uh, where the, which is public land. So essentially what I did is I leaned over my fence to talk to my neighbour. Um, and Who happens I, to be... My neighbour happens to be the council. Right. Because they yep. own that strip. And I said, hey, here's a um, pretty cool scul sculpture that I would like to put put up, but it's um, a bit big for where you know, to go too close to the house. But I want it near the house because it really complements the design of the house. What if I put it on your side of the fence and I'll pay for it and all that? Would you, you know... Are you happy with that? Would you enjoy it? Mm. Pretty simple question. Yep. Right. How long ago did you ask them? Um, I asked them that question eight months ago. Eight months ago, <laughs> okay. But you know, councils sort of work in sort of strange ways really. They're not normal sort of people really. <laughs> when they um, all get together and all sorts of things come into it. But anyway, eight months later they decided they'd have a vote on it. Yeah. And they decided no. Right. So that's where we are at the moment with it. And you know, for me it it doesn't really matter. I mean, we either do it or we don't. And my neighbour has said at this stage that you know they're not really interested. 
Now, of course, what's happened since then is a lot of people have questioned that yep. decision and said, well, you know, it's a fantastic thing. It's very high traffic on Pacific Ave and Marine Parade. Huge, oh, yeah. coaches, huge coaches lot of people. pull up out there. Yeah. yeah, you get all the coaches and all the tourists. And the little things. peepee toot train comes past. Yeah, and, yeah, no, it's very, very busy in the um, silly season. <laughs> so it would have had a huge... Um, you know, public following it because mm. it's a brilliant site for it, um, especially up against the boots. Um, but you know, council at this stage at least has and I, has turned it down. And I know some of the councillors are pretty disappointed. It's pretty close. It was six five. Mm. Um, some of the councillors are pretty disappointed with that. But what, so I suppose I would hope that they might reconsider. I don't know how councils work. You know whether they are able to think again or how it works. But. Um, you know, because I think that there is quite a support for it. Yeah. And it would be a cool thing. It'd be awesome. You know, I've seen them elsewhere in the world and they are amazing, as well as the couple we've got ourselves. Well, so it's... here's hoping, but you know, it's up to the people of um, the Mountain Towers. They're prerogative. You know, if they don't want it, they don't want it. Well, we have the Night Owl uh, cinema that goes on across the road. And yeah, that's what... right. Yeah, so does this light up at night? or um, does... Well, that was going to be my idea but you know the first thing was they had to agree to it in principle that yeah oh, let's look yeah. at this you know this is cool and ironically their arts committee that they set up for public art to mm -hmm. consider public art um, we have done a lot of detailed analysis with those folks over that eight months mm -hmm. and they're all supportive they were really keen on it yeah. um, but when it actually came and this was actually their first assignment. I was going to so say this must have been yeah, one of the first um, projects that they would have been well, presented Well, it is their first, with. apparently. Yeah. And, you know, they went, they asked all the proper questions and went through it all and um, yeah. said, yeah, it's just fantastic. Um, and it is a bit of a, you know, a gift horse, really, which it is. Mm -hmm. um, but in their wisdom, the council has decided, no, it's not. So I, I think people really want to know why. Yeah. Um, well, we can go and have a look at the site um, afterwards. I'll take some photos and we'll put that up to the mount page and just get some feedback and yeah. see what people think. It's a bit difficult to understand why the <laughs> council are. I don't know. Maybe something got lost in translation or, you know. And um, it moves, isn't it, in the wind? Oh, so, yeah. yeah. And so actually, because it's got very fine baubles at the end, yes. it doesn't need that much wind for subtle movements. That's what's mesmerising. Yeah. And that's what I've seen in other towns. People stand there and can't sort of work out why it's moving because there doesn't appear to be any wind. <laughs> yeah. And that's the cleverness of it, right? Yeah. I mean, he is, he is awesome. Um, is is there a video or something we can look at to see? Um, or we have got a video. We've given that to the council yeah. um, to see. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for talking about this. This is um, be really interesting too. Cool. To look at. Thanks. Well, here's hoping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>